if you've changed your bank details, maybe you've gone to a new bank and you want to let SARS know to make sure that your refund pays out to the right bank account, this video is going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on what you need to do to update your banking details with SARS. And also towards the end, we're going to show you which documents you need to give to SARS in order for them to update your banking details. So stick around to the end. So SARS homepage, you're going to go book an appointment. You book an appointment with SARS, they phone you and they verify your banking details and then hopefully if you had to refund the process. It. So we're just going to show you step by step. This page will open. You're going to book an appointment, click individual. Would you like to make a new appointment? Put in all your details. Tax reference number, ID number, the like. If you've forgotten your tax number, I'm going to put a video in the description below to show you how to find your tax number. So fill out all these details. Go down to the bottom with the appointment channel. You're going to click on the drop down. You click on telephonic engagement. Click on banking details right at the bottom because you're updating or changing your banking details. And then reason for appointment lifting or special stopper or bank details update. So you're changing your bank details, bank details update. You're then going to select a branch province and you're going to essentially book an appointment for a date that suits you. At the bottom below, you're going to put in the security number and validate it, confirm an appointment. And now what's important is that SARS are then going to email you and or SMS you uh, a case number. And that case number becomes very impo important. And we're going to show you why next. And also remember, there's certain documents that you need to submit. So we're going to show you exactly what documents you need to submit. Okay, so now you've confirmed your appointment. You've got the email, SMS, confirming the appointment with the case number. We're going to go into how to submit those documents to SARS, but first of all, you need to know what documents to submit to SARS. So these are the most common documents that SARS asks for, and you need to have all four of these. Sometimes the MASP might ask you for one or two different ones on top of this, but you got to have at least these four documents, otherwise SARS is not going to update your bank details. So first of all, the selfie holding your ID, just make sure that it's close enough so that your ID number and your name on the ID itself can be seen along obviously with your face. Next is a certified copy of your ID done within the last three months. If it's older than that, SARS won't accept it. Recent proof of address in your name, last three months and recent bank statement, obviously the updated bank, your new bank in your name, also data the last three months. You can get that off internet banking, it's fine. So just make sure you have at least these four documents to submit to SARS. If they ask you for something else, you can get it, but they're not going to change your bank details without these documents. So now you've got your documents, you need to submit them to SARS, otherwise they obviously don't have them and they're not going to do anything. So this must obviously happen now before your appointment date. So I recommend at least 24 hours before your appointment to submit the documents to SARS. So also back to the SARS homepage, you're going to go submit supporting documents. And so now the case number is very important that will send you confirming the appointment. Going to put that case number top right without the proper case number so i'm not going to know, to know what to do with the documents and it's not going to help you so put the case number in your details again your income tax number your id number documents you're going to click on documents upload all the necessary documents we've talked about and then submit and there's one of the security questions that comes up again and then it's important to then receive an email or sms from sars confirming your Point, uh, sorry, so confirming you've submitted supporting documents. So essentially you're going to get two emails. One is confirming your appointment and then you're going to submit documents and then you're going to get another one saying they received your documents. So that's very important. You get that confirmation email. If, if you don't or SMS, then go through this process again um, and submit these documents again. You've got to get that confirmation email. Otherwise, they're not going to have your documents. So once you've done that, you submitted your documents. You just got to wait for your appointment. And a lot of time and day, SARS will phone you and they'll go through your documents with you and hopefully that'll sort you out and you can change and update your banking details with SARS. So if you want to learn more about how e-filing works, subscribe to this channel.